there is kind of gray area to most every rule. And I can really, really appreciate the gray area that the Patriots have, have uh, been able to uh, exploit during this incredible reign of success that they've had in the National Football League. First thing is this. They acquired James Harrison yesterday. Harrison's 38 years old. He's close to washed up. He just he is. And he was not just disgruntled uh, because of the numbers of snaps that he was getting because T.J. Watt is, in fact, better than him. He really only had an impact in one game this year. That's the Kansas City Chiefs game. Had the game-ending sack. Um... But, like, look, he's a shell of his former self. He's the all-time sack leader in the history of the Pittsburgh Steelers. But, like, kind of classic Patriots, right? Classic Patriots is, one, they're the best waiver wire team in the history of the league. It ain't close. They take other people's trash and make it their treasure. They just do. Uh, Secondly, uh, this is the mental game. They own the Pittsburgh Steelers in the mental game. Think about it for a second. They know that Pittsburgh's going to have to, Pittsburgh's going to have to go through New England because they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. They're already in Pittsburgh's head because Pittsburgh has never gone through New England, in New England, to get to any of the Super Bowls that Ben Roethlisberger has won. Not once. The entire league, and definitely the Pittsburgh Steelers, thinks that Al Riveron who the only reason we know his name is because there's the thought he's butchered a couple of these reviews in New York City, that Al Riveron is somehow a Patriots fan. And, oh, yeah, by the way, you go back to last year. Last year, first game of the year. Remember, Mike Tomlin, same coach of the Steelers, coaching against the Patriots. Their headsets go out. Remember the headsets go out? Right? Mike Tomlin's like, look, we don't know if the headsets are going to go out. we got to prepare for that. Uh, If there's a review and it's close, we know the Patriots are going to get it. We got to wait, worry about whether or not the footballs are inflated correctly. We got to worry about whether or not they're filming our walkthrough because there's the thought that the Patriots have been filming walkthroughs for years going back to, to, to Spygate. And now you take one, our, one of our historically great defensive linemen and less than a month or about a month before we're going to have to face a rematch against them. He's going to know all of our tricks, all of our codes, everything that we do in preparation for him. This is classic Belichick. There's a certain diabolical genius to it, right? You almost feel like uh, there's a, like a Montgomery Burns. He's doing the Montgomery Burns in his office. <laughs> Excellent, right? <laughs> you feel like that's, that's happening right now. Yes. They're in their head. Like they don't, do they need James Harrison? Sure, they got a terrible pass rush, okay? And could he help them? I guess. I guess I mean, if he couldn't get on the field for the Steelers, like how many snaps could he get on the field? And I do think this is like a legitimate divorce between the Steelers and the Patriots. I, I don't think he's a double agent. So I look, I think this is legitimate, but what a diabolical, like there's a certain amount of, you know what? I don't like him, but I got to give it to him. Everybody wants the accountant that knows all the loopholes, right? Is this legal? Uh, is it illegal? It's frowned upon, but not illegal. Like, there's nothing like I even even the Spygate stuff doesn't necessarily bother me because for years and even to this day, there are uh, minions, unpaid interns, some paid assistants that their their only job on NFL Sunday is to watch the signals that are being sent in and to write down the corresponding play. And all the Patriots did was they're like. Why should we have somebody write down the play and then have to go back and catalog it when we can video it, cut down the time? There's video that exists of every play. We can video the sideline. Why don't we have the same video? Is it illegal? Eh, is it frowned upon? Sure. And the league smacked them back and, and fined them, and they became guys that they spied on. And then there's Deflategate, right? Like, is Deflategate illegal? Like, I don't believe for one second Tom Brady deflated the footballs he didn't have time no one ever accused Tom Brady of deflating a football do I think that the deflator took the balls and took air out of him because that's how Uncle Tom liked him of course of course I do because it'd been done for 50 years and the only reason they were caught was because the week before Tom Brady they used 
uh, formations that confuse uh, eligible receiver formations that confuse the Baltimore Ravens. And then when asked about it after the game, Tom Brady's like, they need to read the rule book. <laughs> Patriots know all the rules. And they applied, they, they, they fit in just within the rules. Like, is it ethical to sign a Pittsburgh Steeler? Like, this is a defector. Like, this is, this is a guy who tries out for the U.S. Olympic team in the height of the Cold War, doesn't make the Olympic team, and then changes citizenship, becomes a citizen of Russia, like a week or two weeks before the Olympic game, and it gets put on their team. Like, right, James Harrison went to the Bengals and nobody cared. I mean, I think the only people that cared was Hard Knocks because he was so obnoxious in that he didn't want to be on Hard Knocks. Outside of that, no one cared. But a month before these two teams are going to rematch in the AFC Championship game, which seems like a certainty, arch rivals, the Steelers have never beaten the Patriots in New England in the playoffs to get to a Super Bowl. They just won on a very, very controversial uh, pass that was clearly caught, but the process was not completed to the ground. Which maybe brings us to the heart of the matter. Like, look, I get that Shaquille O'Neal was washed up at the end of his career and he signed as a free agent with the Celtics and that because he was so great and a three-time finals MVP, you put a statue up in front of Staples Center. Like, I, I get the bygones. I get that Brett Favre joined the Minnesota Vikings after he retired, then unretired, retired, then unretired, retired, then unretired. Then he went to the Jets and then he went to the Minnesota Vikings. Like, bygones are bygones five years later. I would assume that Marvin Harrison, I'm not Marvin Harrison, James Harrison, I would assume that James Harrison um, is probably welcome back in Pittsburgh because of the Super Bowl. He essentially won with them with the 99-yard return and because he's the all-time sacks leader. But should he be? Like, Benedict Arnold is a little bit bothered by James Harrison <laughs> switching sides this late <laughs> in the season. Like, he just thinks... Holly, you know this. There are things you just can't do. There like, are. I don't care how good looking your best friend's sister is. Ooh. I don't care how good looking she is. I don't care how into her, into you she is. Right? Yeah. You oh, can't. we've known each other since we were kids. Like you just, you can't do that. You can't go there. You're right. You can't. Every guy may have a fantasy about dating. A twins twin sister. Oh yeah. But you can't the double mint twins, one twin is off limits to you. Like you just can't do these things. Like you asked me earlier, yes. what would it be for women? I don't know, a guy's father. Would his boss be off limits? I didn't even know that was a thing. Is there a daddy <laughs> complex that you want to share with America? His brother, you went sisters. Yes. I went father to the next level. Yes. But that's his, his, you know, male figure. That would be the biggest, you know, screw you to him. Yes. I mean, like, look, this is obviously an, uh, an, an F you, if you will, to the, yeah. to the Pittsburgh Steelers from James Harrison. But, like, can, can, you, can you really go back to being in their ring of honor when you're going to give up all the goods on the Steelers? And the, you've been arch rivals? And they, they, they're not rivals. They're your nemesis. They're not rivals. Yeah. They're nemesis. Nemesis is when a team always beats another. The, the Patriots always beat the Steelers. And then to join them, and I know that you're a scorned ex-lover. I understand it hurts. But there are, well, there's 12 playoff teams, right? So I, I don't think you can go to the Ravens. Not that the Ravens would want him. Like, basically, there's two of the 12 playoff teams. So there's nine teams left you can choose from to sign with for the remainder of this season. Or you can sit and try and come back next year. But you cannot go to the Patriots. I'm not wrong to say this, right? No, you're not. So kudos to the Patriots. They've done it again. And frankly, shame on James Harrison. Like, I get you can chase a ring and you can be vindictive and you can be all upset and all those other interesting words for mm -hmm. not getting your playing time with a team that you helped kind of build the infrastructure, build the culture mm -hmm. of competing both in and out of the season. You can't go to the Pats okay. when you're a Steeler. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1. First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.